Hi everyone, it's Kino here. This is a yoga drills class, which is one of my favorite things to teach and to do. When I first started practicing, I was desperate to figure out ways to make my body understand what these crazy yoga movements were really about. So I started to do some yoga drills, breaking down the poses into their most approachable, accessible, and basic tools so that I could teach my body how to enter these very complex healing and transformational movements that are the yoga asanas. So let's get started. Come to a comfortable seated position, close your eyes, bring your hands together. Allow yourself a nice long inhalation. Keeping the eyes closed for a moment, tune in to the quality of breath, notice your natural breath, establishing a beginning point for the journey. Notice the quality of mind and emotion. Again, establishing just a beginning point for our journey together. Tuning in to the quality of the physical body and all the sensations of the physical body. Then allow yourself a conscious deep breath in and as you exhale, open the eyes and here we are. We're going to do some strength drills today, which is so close to my personal journey. I love to do strength drills. So let's come over onto the hands and knees. Hands are going to be shoulder width apart, your knees, hips width apart. Then activating the muscles of the core of the body, which means that you'll draw the navel in and the muscles that control your lower abdomen will kind of tighten in towards the center. If you're familiar with your pelvic floor, then activate the muscles of the pelvic floor by drawing that very base of the pelvis between the sitting bones in and up. Let this activation of the torso really firm your front body. And now we'll begin retracting and protracting the shoulders. Retract, pull the shoulders back. Protract, big push into the ground. We'll do that four more times. Retract, shoulders back. Protract, big push. We've got three more. Retract, so you're really engaging the shoulder girdle as you protract, big push, take it up. Two more, retract, like you're pulling the scapula back, but not together, protract, big push. Last one, retract and protract. Stay there for a moment, gripping your fingertips, keeping the muscles of the core turned on, draw the lower ribs into each other, and then gently move the shoulders just that little bit more forward. Stay there for a moment, let this stretch your wrist out, and then let's pull it back. And now we're actually going to stretch the wrist. So many people start to complain about the wrists being sore when you begin to work on strength. Well, this is a great tool, gripping the fingertips, rooting down through the heels of the hands, stretching the wrists so that you can actually begin to increase your range of motion in the wrists by building both strength and flexibility. This takes time, so you can't really expect this to happen overnight or instantly. It's not like a cup of instant noodles. You really need to go for the slow journey. I don't have any problem with instant noodles, by the way. It's just a matter of your body doesn't respond like that. It takes time for the body to get really, really tuned in. Now let's press into the heels of the hands and to strengthen the wrists. Lean a little forward. You can even get the feet off and try to get your fingers off the ground. We'll hold that for five breaths. One, two, watch your elbows. Engage the muscles to support the elbows. Three, four, lift your fingers. Try to lift the knuckles. Four, and five. Okay, let's put it down and then exhale. Roll the shoulders forward. Child's pose for a moment. Fully rest. And then let's slowly pick your head up. And what do you say if we do the same thing from plank pose? Rotate the tailbone under, step your left leg back, and again, rotate the tailbone under. So you really get this tucked under position that helps you activate the front body. And let's step the right leg up, and let's do feet together. Having the feet together will let you feel the center line a little more. 
pitch the shoulders just a little forward, rotate the tailbone under, and we got our nice plank pose. Hold it for five. One, two, three. Feel your shoulders. Four and five. Stay right there. If it's too intense for you, put your knees on the ground. But if it's comfortable, retract, protract. Dip down through the shoulders, then protract, big push. Let's retract, go down, protract, big push. We got three more. Retract, protract, big push. Again, retract, protract, big push. Last one, retract, protract, big push. All the way down to the ground. Stay here for a moment. Feel the shape of Chaturanga Dandasana, this push down position. Check the shoulders, shoulders back but not together. Rotate the tailbone under, activate the muscles that control your front body, and then inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in, exhale, downward facing. Let's stay downward facing dog for five breaths, releasing through the neck and the shoulders. One, two, deep, steady breaths, three, Four, keep the mind calm and steady. Five, let's switch the gaze forward. Come on back to plank pose. Hold your plank position again. Keep it steady, steady, steady. And let's roll over the toes for the toe point plank. If it's too much for your wrist, just walk your toes back and then try again. Two. Three, try to drag your toes forward. Four, feel the lower abs. Five, sink the knees down. Inhale, release your spine as you send the chest up. Exhale, round, let's pull it under. One more time. Inhale, let's release the spine. Exhale, round, pull it under. I want to do the toe point plank again. What do you think? Let's try. Okay. So, when you work on toe point plank, you want to really feel that your lower abdominal muscles are dragging the whole body forward. So here we go. We send the shoulders forward, rotate the tailbone under, knees really spiral into each other. Little more forward, little more forward, little more forward, and here we go. Toe point plank. Drag it forward. One, two, three, four. Five, now curl your toes under, regular plank, and exhale, chaturanga. You can go all the way down to the ground if you want. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Stay downward facing for a moment, rolling your shoulders open. Long, deep breaths. Keep the mind calm and steady. Feeling everything finding the way to work at your own pace, using this time to tune into the body, but not force. Okay, let's look forward. And now, send the right knee down, left leg moves back, and let's go for a nice, easy side plank. So you should reach the arm up. Stay here for a moment, side plank with support, so you can really find your shoulder alignment, your core alignment, Feel the center line beyond the blade of the left foot. And then exhale, let's take the hand down. Put that left knee down and let's switch the sides. Extend your right leg back. And then inhale, right arm up. One. Your gaze can be anywhere that's comfortable for you. Two, three. Try to be on the blade of the right foot. You'll see why in a moment. Four. And five, let's sink it down, plant both knees down. Inhale, release your spine. Exhale, round, come on under. One more, inhale, release your spine. Exhale, round, all the way under. Okay, so if this last movement of the side plank felt a little tricky for you, I want you to do it again with your knee down. Is that all right? You don't need to prove anything. You can always come back to this video and watch it again and again as you feel yourself getting stronger. I'm going to put my hair up now too so it's less in my face. If you get your hair down, you might want to do the same thing. Alrighty. So, either with your right knee down or inhale, come on up to plank 
And now we're gonna go for side plank. So we're gonna reach your right side over beyond the blade of your right foot and then really push up, activating your transverse abdominals and then lift that left arm up. Look up to the left hand. We'll stay here for five breaths. One, two, mind is nice and calm, three, it's not just the arm, it's the whole body lifting up over to the side. Four and five. Let's drop that left hand down. Come forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Now let's come forward again. Back to plank. Find your plank. Nice and easy. Okay, left side plank. Roll on over to the left side. Then, lifting up with your transverse abdominals, extend your right arm. Stay for five. One. To really hug the ribs in, tucking the tailbone a little. Two. If you need the knee down, go ahead and put it down. Four. Find the way to work, but don't just survive. Five, let's glide that right arm down. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Step forward, leaving your feet, hips width apart. Bend the knees for a moment. Hold on to the big toes. Inhale, straighten your arms. And exhale, forward fold. Relax the neck. Relax your mind. Stay here for five breaths. Whatever depth you're in, let it be good enough. One. Stay here. Breathing, feeling. Two. Mind is calm. Shoulders rolled away from each other. Three. Four. Deep breaths. Five, inhale and straighten your arms. Now, taking the hands right on the ground. So this is a pretty hard plank, but it's so, so good for building strength and also for transferring your weight forward and teaching your body what it really takes to move into powerful inversions. You know, the fun stuff, like handstand. All right, gripping your fingertips. Root down into the knuckles and the heels of the hands. Then activate the muscles of the lower abdomen. Find your pelvic floor. Soften the neck. Gaze between the hands and then slowly lean forward. We'll stay for five. One. Two. Sometimes I call this handstand plank because we're not going to do a handstand. We're going to effectively transfer the weight so much forward so it feels as though your whole body is standing on the hands then slowly onto the toes and lean more forward and more down with the chest two three really squeeze the lower abs four five one knee into the chest one two Lower abs, keep feeling where your pelvis is. Three, almost there. Four, let's switch the legs. One, feel those lower abs. Two, three, I know it's a lot. Stay, four, five, come on down. Widen your stance. Exhale, squat down. Use your yoga squat for a moment to bring your hands together. And don't worry if you fall back. Just pick yourself up with a big smile and try again. Now let's relax the chest down. Use a little of your flexibility or build a little flexibility. Then squeeze the knees onto the shoulders, taking the hands down. Let's do a little bakasana. All right. So now draw the knees in, placing them up onto the arms. If you feel a little unsure of yourself. Keep the feet on the ground, but still do all the work of the posture. Shoulders, stabilize. Balls of the feet, pressing into the ground for a moment. Then slowly transfer your weight onto the toes. And if you're unsure of yourself, stay here. But if you feel that there's weight pouring into the arms, 
Inhale, bakasana position. One. Stay. Use the shoulders. Don't give up. Three. Almost there. Four. Five. Jump back. Plank. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing. Now, let's switch your gaze forward. Step, step your feet. And then exhale, let's sink the hips. Straighten the legs. Hands next to the hips. Let's prepare Dandasana position. Deep, steady breaths. Lift the center of the chest. Keeping the mind calm and steady. Deep, resonant breaths. Feel the body, don't force. Slowly now, switch your gaze forward. And let's look at the toes. If it's easy for you to hold on to the toes, grab them. If not, hold on to your shins. Inhale, prepare. And then exhale, pivot forward through the hips into a deep forward fold. Keep the mind calm, deep, steady breathing. One. We'll stay here for five breaths. Two. Three. Keep breathing. Four. And five. Inhale, let's straighten the arms. Exhale there. Bend your knees. Pause for a moment. Cross your feet. And then let's step all the way back to plank. Find your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, bend your knees, cross your feet, grab two yoga blocks. I see I've got two yoga blocks here. If you don't have two yoga blocks, you know what else works really well? Two big, thick books. So if you're in school and you're studying, you probably have two textbooks that are quite big and thick like that. So go ahead and grab them. Or if you've got, you know, two big books at home, like, you know, Lord of the Rings, volume one, volume two, that works. You don't want to, even though there may be some big, thick books at home, you don't want to grab any sacrilegious items. So it's good to just have, you know, a nice big fantasy book. Okay. So now we're going to go for the L sits. Your fingers right on the blocks, pitch your body weight forward, and now the dynamics are key. So we don't do the yoga drills just to, you know, brute, bust out the body. We're trying to train with a high level of intelligence. So in the movement called the L-sit, known in Sanskrit as Brahmacharyasana, um, which means the yogis vow to maintain ethical, human, and interpersonal relations, between friends and also between those beings whom are, well, more than friends. So now we have the L sit and the dynamic we're working is that the shoulders go forward and down while the hips go back and up. Your body is in a tight front body squeeze. We're gonna use the blocks to give you a little more height and I'd like you to keep your heels down <clears throat> at least for the first try, okay? Notice where I've positioned the blocks, a little bit in front of the hips, a little bit behind the knees. This helps you feel like you're transferring the weight a little bit easier. All right, let's try. Hands in the middle of the blocks. Don't grip the blocks like this or it could stress out your wrists. We did all that work to stre stretch the wrists, so let's not stress the wrists, okay? Fingertips, knuckles, heels of the hands, a little bend in the elbows as you lean forward, heels on the ground, engage your quadriceps, engage your abdominal muscles, then straighten the arms and hips back and up, shoulders forward and down. Stay for five. One, two, three, four, and all the way down. Okay, now the next one, see what happens. Maybe your feet come off the ground. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. The goal is to get the sensation of the shoulders moving forward and down while the hips move back and up. Now let's try again. Shoulders forward and down and the hips back and up. One, two, three, four, 
and five. I got to say, that was kind of fun on the blocks. Now, you know, we're going to try without the blocks also. So let's bend the knees, shake that out for a moment. Okay, work the principle. If it's real difficult, do it one more time with the blocks. Now, here we go. Shoulders forward and down. Keep the feet on the ground for the first try. Hips back and up. One, two, three, almost there. Four, five. Shake it out, bend the knees. Lift your chest, release, release. And then, let's do it again. Now, shoulders forward and down, hips back and up. Okay. So remember, don't start off with straight arms. You want to bend the elbows to bring your chest close to the thighs. Shoulders forward and down. Activate, activate, activate. Think and feel. Hips back and up. One, two, three. Your thighs are burning. It's okay. Four, five. Go down. Good job. Cross your feet. Step back to plank. And exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Turn the left foot out. Inhale, step forward. Right foot down, warrior one. Let's work that left hip open. Five breaths. One, two, three. Nice and steady. Four, five. Exhale, hands down. All the way back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Turn the right foot out. Inhale, step your left foot forward. And inhale, all the way up. Five breaths. One, two, keep breathing. Three, four, five. Exhale, hands down, all the way back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Then bend your knees, cross your feet. Just for fun, little up. Exhale, put it down. All right. Cross your feet now, keeping the mind steady. And we'll slowly turn the attention inward. Long, deep breaths. Reach around, hold on to the elbows. Long, deep breaths through the center line of the body. Exhale, fold forward. Top of the head down. Rest for a few moments. Keep the mind calm. No fight, no force. Just breath. Moving in and out of the body. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Feel the hips, feel the hip joints. Feel the spine, feel the breath, and then inhale, come all the way back up. Turn the palms open, your first two fingers, the index finger and the thumb tips, press into each other. Long, deep breaths. Feel the breath moving in and out of the body. Calm and steady. Now let's grab the blocks again since they're here. Lift the knees up. Take your hands again, remember middle of the blocks, not gripping them. And let's stay up for a nice long count. First, let's start off with the feet down and you're using the same dynamic as in the L-sit. Your shoulders go forward and down as the hips move back and up, okay? Shoulders forward and down as the hips go back and up. Good, stay. One, two, keep working, three, Four, we're gonna stay for 10, five, maybe the feet are off the ground, six, seven, stay, eight, nine, and 10. Let's put it down. Okay, let's move the blocks over to the side. And then step your legs back, plank, 
Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. All right, now step, step your feet and maybe all the way through. If not, little up for a moment. And then let's roll the spine down. Stay here, feet together. Now draw the right knee into your chest. Let's just release for a moment. Easy reclining twist. Close the eyes. Release through the chest, the neck, the side body. A few moments of rest. Feel your heartbeat. Feel the breath. Notice the quality of thoughts, emotions. And then inhale back to the center. Let's switch. And exhale all the way over, extending the left arm, pointing the right toes. Don't force, just feel. Let your body experience a moment of rest. Mind integrates into a deep state. And then roll the spine all the way down. Open the palms, the feet, the hands. Notice your breath, the natural breath now. Notice the body, that good vibration, the feeling in the body. Notice the quality of mind and emotion. Then allow yourself a deeper breath. Move your fingers and toes, your hands, your feet. Bend the knees and the elbows. Draw the knees into your chest, giving yourself a little squeeze. And just for a moment, say, thanks, my body. Hey, body, thank you. You did a good job. We did the best we could today. I love you, body. You're good. Roll over onto the side. Keeping the eyes closed, let's return to a comfortable seated position. Steady the mind. Steady the breath, feel the inner body. Notice the shift in mind, in body, and in breath from every practice. Bring the attention to the heart center. Plant the seeds of a more peaceful life. May I be happy. May my body be healthy, filled with energy. May I be peaceful. May I be filled with love. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings live in love, harmony, Bring your hands together.